Our fourth newer type is the type 2B, which is the second newer type that is muscle as a high muscle dominance. Now, if the 2A is about half and half, the 2B is basically almost purely muscular. Uh, as such, it will respond much better to typical bodybuilding training. Now, uh, the one word that describes 2B is sensation. They need to feel it. So these guys are looking for the mind-muscle connection, big pump, uh, feeling the muscle burning when they're training. So that is very important for them. If they're doing an exercise, they don't feel the target muscle doing the work, it, 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 it just annoys them and they're looking for something else to do, or they lose motivation. But that also is true for other elements in their lives. I'm going to back, I'm gonna get uh, back to that later. But first, I'm going to tell you the sentence that, that de best describes how they should be training. Now, the sentence is, they get stronger by becoming bigger. So it's the exact opposite of the type 1A. 1A was, they get more muscular by becoming stronger. 2B, they're getting stronger by becoming more muscular. So they, they don't respond well to purely neurological methods. They might be able to sustain it for about two weeks, or they can include it like on a weekly basis, but at a very, very, very low dose. Because remember, when you don't have a lot of one component, which is not your natural dominance, recovery from it is very hard, very long. On the other hand, they can tolerate a lot of muscle work. These are the guys who will do typical bodybuilding workout, like 20, 25, 30 sets, drop sets, super sets, uh, mechanical drop sets, stuff like that, like crazy volume, and they will recover well from it uh, because their muscular component is really, really dominant, so they can recover very well from it. Now, when I mentioned sensation, uh, it also drives pretty much everything they do. They tend to be like very emotionally driven individuals because again, they need to feel strongly. They are great at reading people, making connection, helping people out. They are great listeners because they are emotional dri emotionally driven. Now, big drawback is that they are also the ones that are the most likely to binge out or even become bulimic because they need that sensation of eating all that tasty food. The most foodies will be of that neurotype. Now, when it comes to training, uh, you should avoid as much as possible neurological dominant methods. So they need to stay normally above six reps per set and below 80% of one, uh, one rep maximum. Any kind of bodybuilding method will work great. So it could be superset, drop set, slow tempo, pauses during lift, uh, pre-fatigue, post-fatigue, mechanical drop set, uh, constant tension training. Any type of mind-muscle connection work or methods aimed at creating the largest, largest possible muscle pump will work well for them. They don't need to constantly increase the weight from week to week to see progress. They need to build muscle by doing more volume and that eventually will make them stronger. Whereas the 1A, they need to see the bar go up in weight as often as possible. They are more goal driven, like number driven. So, so that is what the type 2B is, typical bodybuilding training. They should also use short rest intervals because they are also driven by adrenaline. Uh, but when they are doing neurological work, the few times they do it, they need to extend the rest intervals because they are not built for it and it does create a bigger stress. So if they're doing like work above 80%, 85% of the 1RM, uh, or par heavy partials, accelerative work, plyometrics, they need to extend the rest periods. Whereas if they're doing bodybuilding work, they can stick with very short rest interval, supersets, drop sets, and even circuits that will work well for them. So that is the introduction to what a type 2B needs to do as far as training.